time check. What time is it right now? Okay, seven is almost seven p.m. I have to be at the show by eight. Yeah. Can I have it back? Got it. I'm vlogging. <laughs> Who's that? One of the most tiring shows I've done. I think I fought with the client's client for a while because of their demands and they were very rude. There's a reason why DJs are DJs. We do our job and we are professionals. And don't be rude to anyone. Everyone should be treated fairly in their job scope. Every job has their up and downs and today is definitely one of the most down I ever had in my years. So I was really very frustrated because I thought I wasn't doing a good job. I was really upset for a moment but tomorrow will be better you know we gotta keep positive and yeah I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, it's, I think it's 6am, I just woke up and I tend to check my messages, my Instagram DM when I wake up because I don't have the time to reply everyone and I try my best and sometimes when I wake up in the middle of the night, I read the messages you guys send and I'm just, <laughs> I'm so grateful. <laughs> I know you are thinking like, oh my god, why is she videoing herself crying and shit, but it's... I... I just needed to let you guys know that I do read every single messages and I'm just so grateful. Someone just sent me a message and he said like, he googled me and he found out the shit I've been through and he was so proud of me and how far I came along in life and it's very touching for a guy, for a person who never knew who I was who never knew me as a person to be so kind it's it's really very it's <laughs> I can't find a word for it I, I am a nobody and, and you guys just love me because I'm enough and sometimes I guess you just have to be enough for someone and I am and it's just very nice because I'm human too <laughs> and I never thought I was enough and you guys saw me and I'm very very happy and very grateful I know I still have a long way to go. I, I've, I've come a long way, but there's just so much more things for me to achieve as a DJ and as a producer. And I work so hard for you guys. It's like I wake up at dawn and I read messages telling me to not give up encouraging me and even though you guys googled me and seen all the shit I've been through you guys still love me <sighs> I don't know what love is but you guys showed me what it is to love someone even when you know they're not perfect <laughs> so thank you guys so much for supporting me <laughs> I just hope you guys know that I really 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 super appreciate this like <sighs> thank you
Thank you guys so much. I've got to side out now because it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Try to keep me down, but I'll put the flame out. You can't get to me. Throw your sticks and your stones. Go break all of my bones. You won't ache my soul. You can't get to me. And there is no barricade that I. It's been about two months since I came back to Singapore. Um, last year at this time, I was totally rock bottom. I was lost and I, I was in a very dark place. And if you told me last year that this is where I would be one year later, I would not believe you because Wow, so much can change and I'm glad I moved past that and I'm glad I've met so many new people, so many friends, so many new Ting Nation family. You guys taught me how to be kind, how to be humble, how to be grateful of even the little things in life. That is one thing that I'm really grateful for. <sighs> okay. <Whew. laughs> oh my god, I'm not good at this. <sighs> if I can come out of the very dark period I was at a year ago, I was all alone and life hit me hard. But you know what? I'm back. And I swear to be better and to be stronger and to help those who are going through the same thing as I did because a simple kind gesture goes a really long way <clears throat> without you knowing it. And sometimes all you have to do is simply to tell the person that everything is gonna be okay and it will so just remember when you're having a hard time don't give up I know it sounds very cliche of me to say it but you know what a lot of people give up before even reaching where they want to be that's the reason why you shouldn't give up work until you make an impact and everyone everyone is capable of doing that you are able to make a change and you can always achieve your dream as long as you don't give up.